Hello, boss word. We're going to boxing block center. F.A. Ajagba, a.k.a. the one and only, will be out on the 3rd of September towards the end of this month against Nick Jones, a uh, neverweight prospect as well, who has seven wins, five by KOs, and no losses. Nick Jones is also undefeated, so which makes it a very interesting fight, you know. And normally, a lot of PBC fighters, after they fight, yeah, the last time they didn't fight, it, it, the, the guy didn't want to fight him because mm-hmm. Curtis Halper couldn't stand the Nigerian nightmare. He got afraid, he got scared. <laughs> I love in Chinese. Well, and right now, Efrajiba is looking to be very active. Was he a good move that he signed with Ahiman and Chalawinko? Not really, because I don't see him becoming a superstar in America, especially when the Evo Division is not popping in America right now. Because you've got to go to where it is popping to get some buzz, right? He would have linked up with Anthony Joshua like Lawrence O'Coley did. Lawrence O'Coley's name is, you know, wavy right now because he linked up with the right promoter and the right management. Lawrence O'Coley is being managed by Anthony Joshua. But nevertheless, I know it is the Boston game, there's politics, and, you know, we cannot expect uh, the, the guy to just sign with Eddie here immediately. Maybe Eddie Hearn didn't go for him. Maybe Eddie Hearn will. Who knows? But I don't want to see Eddie Hearn signing F.A. Jagba when F.A. Jagba is getting the balls. I don't want to see it. It's better to build fathers up from the from the ground, you know, like he did with A.J. So let me give my thoughts on this file with Nick Jones. I think uh, F.A. Jagba will knock Nick Jones out cold. Out cold. You know, and... If the Jabba right now is currently seen as a weapon to be reckoned with, a guy to be reckoned with, a force to be reckoned with. And I think that, you know, his career is at the right time, you know, to elevate, okay? His career has to elevate now or never. It has to be now or never. And I think he's doing the right thing in a way. He's doing the right thing, but he's in the wrong country. The wrong country in the sense of because the Evo Division is not popping in America. The Evo Division is not America. They only care about the Canelos, the Middleways, the Errol Spence, the Javante Davis, those smaller guys, and those tall wannabe guys. They only care about those people. They don't care about the Evo Division. They are not... Pushing for people to, uh, you know, to 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 watch the heavyweight fights, you know, in America, it's not like that. In the UK, all divisions are popping, but the the heavyweight division is the main, the real deal. People want to see big guys get knocked out. So it was like that in America a few years ago, but not now, you know, because. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe just politics, or maybe just how it is. America sometimes they prefer, you know, some things than others. You know, Americans have different mindset. You know, sometimes they like this, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they like you, sometimes they don't. <laughs> I don't know. I was, they're just confusing sometimes. But nevertheless, it's all business. And if a jumper now, he's training, already in training. And really looking sharp in training, you know, ready to put up a great performance. And believe me, Nick Jones is going to sleep, guys. Nick Jones is going to sleep. I don't know much about Nick Jones. I haven't seen him fight. This guy doesn't even have a picture on his on the box rec uh, profile, so I don't know. But I think uh, maybe, I don't know, he has five KOs. I'm just going to see what happens. I'll, I'll, I'll have to watch the fight. It will be on FS1. I'm going to have to look for a way to watch it. 
uh, because if a Jaguar now needs to be, you know, you know, checked out, especially when you're a re-boxing fan, a re-boxing fan. That's it for now, guys. Like the video, share, give your thoughts below. If you know anything about Nick Jones, please just comment below. I don't know anything about Nick Jones. I haven't seen the guy fight before, so... And he has five KOs already. So let's see who this guy is. Cheers, everyone.